Hi everyone, we have a very unique video thanks to our friend Vuva from Shanghai where you can see the Shanghai Nangang terminal and Tesla night loading into a ship. So what you're seeing, uh, Vuva explains, is at night. This is Shanghai South Port Terminal, the promenade that connects the sea terminal to the mainland port. A delivery truck is going and the truck is carrying Tesla vehicles. Apparently, such a transport method, Vuva says, is different from the previous ones we have seen before. It is possible that at night, when the workers of the dock operation have rested, the Tesla is unloaded directly to the dock at sea so that it is close to the rural ship and the workers can drive the Tesla directly into the rural ship when they go to work tomorrow morning. Now, for some of you, if you don't know what Roro ship is, I didn't either. Roro is an acronym for roll on, roll off. Roll on, roll off ships are vessels that are used to carry wheeled cargo. In this case, it's Tesla. So from this video, uh, from the pictures you're seeing, we noticed that the ship uh, docked at the dock is a ship named Changkyang Gong. I hope I pronounced it right and there is no, we have no idea where the destination is where this ship is going friends so very interesting way at night tesla uh, loading the two ships at night what do you think friends let me know your thoughts let's move on to our next story Last week, something really big happened at Tesla Giga Shanghai. Giga Shanghai upgraded the Model Y production line and it has already resumed operations. Tesla Giga Shanghai is phasing out part of its capacity in July to upgrade the factory to significantly increase production capacity. After the upgrade is completed, the factory will be producing 14,000 Model Ys per week and 7,700 Tesla Model 3s per week a significant increase reflecting an annual output of more than 1 million units. According to the plan, the Model Y production line was upgraded first. Veda Primal Twitter shared that this line is already up and running as of Friday, July 15. In his statement, he relies on the documents he has reviewed, although he cannot share copies of them publicly, the Tasmanian reports. The launch of the Model Y production line means that Giga Shanghai has entered a new aggressive phase in order to achieve superior performance in 2022 and beyond. Veda Prime tweeted saying the Tesla Giga Shankai Model Y production line came online at some point today after line upgrade earlier than originally planned. This was on July 15. The launch of the Model Y production line also indicates that the Model 3 production line will now be upgraded lasting up to two weeks but possibly less. At the moment, it is not known whether its work is already suspended or this will happen starting from Monday, July 18. It seems that before the upgrade, the Model 3 production line was running at breakneck speed as the largest batch of cars at Shanghai's Luchao port was recently spotted consisting of over 7,000 Model 3s. No, no, this was again on July 17, for, uh, on July 15, friends. Over 7,000 Tesla vehicles manufactured at Giga Shanghai were spotted at Shanghai's Luchao port ready for export. This is the largest batch sport, uh, spotted to date. Giga Shanghai again impresses with its performance. Despite the fact that in July part of the factory was under modernization, the team did not slow down the pace of production very much. Thousands of cars are spotted in the port of Shanghai ready for shipment. Giga Shanghai Factory Operations Observer Vuva, a YouTuber, again visited the port that ships Tesla cars to customers in various countries and was pleasantly surprised to see so many Tesla vehicles being ready to go to, to, for shipment, possibly to Europe. According to the video and 
an explanation, the dock at the southern port of Lucha was filled with a very large number of Tesla vehicles. Vuva did not expect to see such a large number since the factory currently is under modernization and it would seem that it could not produce so many cars. According to Sawyer Merrick Twitter user, the number of vehicles at the time of the filming was over 7,000. However, Vuva made a note that truckloads of cars kept coming at Luchao port, truckloads of Teslas. At the moment, it is not known how big this batch will be, friends. It also remains unknown where the ships with these vehicles will be sent. Vehicles for Australia and New Zealand used to depart from Shanghai's Haitong dock. However, when Vuva went there last week, it was revealed that Tesla had effectively abandoned the more distant Haitong dock and was using the Luchao port south dock as its main export port. Therefore, there is a high possibility that the cars captured on video could be sent to Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore. Or who knows, maybe some of them will come to Europe, as Giga Berlin is still kind of picking up its production and kind of ramping up the production. Friends, uh, this also aligns well with the delivery date for these countries, which is set for August. Now, on a side note, later, Veda Prime Twitter clarified that Vuva was wrong in his claim that Tesla stopped using Shanghai's Haitang Dog to ship cars to Australia and New Zealand. Thus, cars seen at Luchao Port South Dog will be sent to Europe, the Tasmanian report. But now, the big news is that Tesla Model Y upgraded production line at Giga Shanghai and resumed operations last week. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com, friends. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And let me know what you think about all these developments. Do you think Tesla will be able to meet some great numbers because of so many cars we see at Luchao Port? I would love to hear from you. Tesla has a new plan to extend Giga Texas. There are filings that show that. So Tesla is planning to expand Gigafactory Texas, its newest electric vehicle production plant that is located just outside Austin city limits. Filings show. Tesla is planning to build on a 68.11 acre plot of land located adjacent to the factory's main property with plans for industrial use facilities with associated improvements the filings stated I will have the link to the filings in the description of this video friends first reported by Austin Business Journal the project is listed as a production support area production support area for Giga Texas and not many other details are known currently just that much as the filing show Tesla is still working through the approval process of this expansion of Giga Texas Tesla has been purchasing additional land submitting plans for expansion and working to broaden Gigafactory Texas and its entire footprint. In late June, Tesla filed to expand Gigafactory Texas by 500,000 square feet, friends, working on expanding the Central uh, General Assembly 2 and General Assembly 3. Uh, this followed February filings that showed a 220,000 square foot warehouse was planned on site with construction beginning in June with a BESS system, best system to support energy generation and storage, probably for Giga Texas. Giga Factory Texas is said to be Tesla's most complete manufacturing facility in its lineup of production plans. Not only will it build Tesla's most recent and advanced vehicles, but it will also produce the cells that make them the most advanced vehicles, the 46AD battery cells. It's a massive facility and it can fit 194 billion hamsters and is three times the size of the Pentagon. It is also the second largest building in the world by volume. Tesla has been delivering Model Ys from Gigafactory Texas since the company's Cyber Rodeo event in early April. What do you think, friends? I think this is very exciting that Tesla is expanding Gigafactory, taking it to the next level. 
now uh, i think uh, we will look forward to see what is coming uh, to this new uh, expansion what tesla will be building at gigafactory texas uh, the news expansion maybe expand the battery but what do you think will be that adjacent support you know like i said the filing stated that um, unlocated this location is adjacent to the factory's main property with plans for industrial use facilities with associated improvements the filing said and like i said for as reported by Austin Business Journal, the project is listed as a production support area. Now, what can this mean? What production support can provide Tesla battery? The Tesla is already building the battery plant at Gigafactory, Texas. What other production support do you think this area can provide for Giga Texas? Let me know, friends, in your comments. Uh, I'll look forward to reading your comments. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Give us thumbs up, like this video please and share in social media thank you very much for all your support god bless you everyone and i'll see you soon in our next report